Okay, so now we can create a lot of different visuals in a lot of different styles with the help of the prompt and the rendering styles. That's very nice. But what if AI couldn't figure out our intentions or what if we want to change some parts? We can pretty much do that in the refine mode because that's the mode for refining and iterating on already existing renderings. So I have this cork headphone example and I'm going to work with that. You can notice that if you go into the refine mode, the drawing influence automatically drops around 50% because that is the suitable area to create these refined renderings. So what you can do in refine mode is just either create small adjustments like this. If you don't like this little part here, you can just use the color picker by hitting Alt on the keyboard or Option and just erasing it. just like that to get rid of these small artifacts so let's try just the endpoints of the refine mode let's click at 100 percent influence and let's generate an image so we basically got back the exact same image what we started with with 100 percent then let's try it at zero percent You can see that it still maintained the aesthetic of our product. It just made some minor changes. So this is the range that you're essentially working with. And this mode is suitable to refine and iterate on all the existing renderings. It means that you can freely sketch inside and the changes that you make is going to make it fit into the overall aesthetic of the rendering. So if you want to change and ideate on a specific part of your rendering, you can use the inpainting tool or hit G on the keyboard. So the inpainting tool allows you to select specific areas on your design that you want to change and the rest of the design will not be changed or will not be affected by the change. So let's use the 0% drawing influence and just click generate. This means that it is going to give me random variations on, on that part, on that selected part. And I have two ways to influence these changes, either to write a prompt for it or to sketch or to sketch something in. Because you can see these are like completely like random, but still relevant designs into the overall, overall aesthetic of the image. But so we have multiple ways to influence what, what the changes are going to happen. Let's use dark rubber headband. So I'm giving as an additional prompt to this selected area. And I'm also going to use my brush to sketch inside something. So I click on the brush icon. So I want to have some dark rubber headband. I created a new layer with the help of the keyboard shortcut N. And I'm just roughly making this layer black. And I just lowered a little bit on the opacity. to make the original lines a bit more visible. But the powerful thing in refine mode is that you can be very rough and click back on the inpainting tool. It saved the previous selection. I'm going to go to this original 50% drawing influence and just hit generate. So the advantage of refine mode is that you can make very rough changes realistic within seconds. So you just have to sketch some very basic and very raw things on the canvas and it will include into the overall design of the rendering so as you can see we got some these are some letters but also a rubbery feeling of headbands and it was like influenced by our drawing but made it in a much more realistic way so this is how you can separately ideate on different parts Let's use the inpainting tool for different selections. Let's select the 
turn the ear cups. So to create multiple selections, you have to hold down the shift key when you're using the impainting tool, just like that. And now I can also specify something with the ear cups as well. Let's create some blue fabric ear cups. Blue fabric, comma, and the other things. And also I'm going to use the, maybe this ellipse tool this time to, to kind of reinforce that prompt and to guide it visually what I want to get. Because as a designer, you always have a visual expectation and a visual idea of what you want to see. And so that's why it's a very natural and interactive way of, of refining an idea. Oh, don't forget to use the new layers for, for the new parts that you're creating, because then you can use the move and transform tool to adjust them like that. And I'm duplicating this layer to make it as a sort of mask for the other ear cup as well. And when I did that, I just lower the opacity of these and I go to this refine mode. I click back on the impainting tool like that and blue fabric ear cup and hit generate with 50% influence. So if you have a very rough idea, you can just naturally communicate it by, by sketching and drawing into the app. And then by hitting generate, you can quickly realize and validate those changes in a more realistic way. Just like how it made our prompt and little mask into a more realistic interpretation of a blue fabric ear cup. So we started with a cork headphone. We just wanted to make a rubber filling headband. And we also wanted to have blue fabric ear cups. And we just quickly realized these changes in a matter of minutes, basically. So it's a very cool and interactive ping pong match between you and AI, just validating ideas.